gives this woman to be wed? Mother and I. Thank you. <laughs> John, will you have this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance and the holy estimate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep you only unto her as long as you both shall live? Tanisha, will you have this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estimate of matrimony? Will you love him? Comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only in him as long as both shall live. John and Tanisha have written their own vows that they want to like to say. I have often been asked how I knew you were the one. To them I'd say, when you meet the person you're supposed to be with, it will just feel right. That you will not be able to fight the inevitable. But to them, I'd also say, if you're her person that reminds the waiter to get her extra pickles, <laughs> and you're her person, or she's your person, to remind you to make sure your meal is entirely correct and use you to eat it anyway, that's when you know. <laughs> so I stand by you today because you're my best friend my partner, and the single most extraordinary creature in the entire cosmos. Today, I tether my soul to yours. Ever since the very first moment I met you, I knew you were special. We have something that I believe goes on beyond what the science of this world makes for. It's like, it's easy, it's like breathing. You make me strong, but also weak. You give me the confidence to be your partner and your husband, and to be your card and board game partner every night for the rest of our lives, until the day I stop. I vow to communicate and respectfully have conversations on disagreements to walk with you through the most definite, defining moments of our lives, to carry our family traditions and legacies hand in hand in front of both the light of heaven and the darkness of hell, in both sickness and in health, to make it my personal mission each and every day that we get through every single challenge that would attempt to carry us apart. So in front of what feels like way too many people, <laughs> I'm yours until my heart stops beating. Until we both grow old and look at each other the same way that we do right now. In the words of Justin Bieber, if it's not you, it's not you. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to stop crying. Okay. John. To my best friend, my lover, my everything. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> this is hard for me to put into words exactly how I feel about you. You are honest, caring, funny, and passionate. You love everyone without conditions, and I've never been loved that way before. All my flaws, all my fears, you love every piece. Today I will make a lifetime of promises that I intend to keep. Today until forever, I promise to give you the best of myself and to ask of you no more than you can give. I vow to be the best part of me that fit perfectly with you, the best part of you. I promise to always pick up your dirty socks and to make game night. <laughs> yeah, that's important. <laughs> I promise to respect you as your own person and realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to always have fun with you every day. And I vow to eat pizza with you at least one night a week. John, we have accomplished so much together from buying our first home, raising our fur babies, and over overcoming all of our fears of trust. I can't wait to see what's in store for our future and the rest of our lives. I love you always. Love.
By the power invested in me in the state of Michigan, being an ordained minister, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Truesdale. There comes a time in life when you meet someone that will stand by you and support you no matter what, every decision you make. For John, that moment was 18 years ago when he met me. <laughs> uh, for, you th for those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm Cody. Um, John and I have been friends since first grade. When he asked me to be his best man, I was honored, but it was also very honorable of him to admit to every one of you that I am the best. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight for this very special day to watch true love run its course and to see these two amazing people say, I do. John and I have had some really good times. I've known him since he went by Taylor and still had a full head of hair. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that he found someone that cares about him and loves him as much as he loves her. I think sitting here, Tanisha, you look beautiful today. It really makes John look more handsome than he is. But uh, all joking aside, when John introduced me to Tanisha, I could tell there was something really special between them. That they truly, truly loved each other. To the happy couple, John and Tanisha, Mr. and Mrs. John Truesdale. What can I say to you as I stand here before you? I watched you grow up into such a beautiful woman. You and I have been through hell and back, and it only made our bond stronger. I can always depend on you for anything, whether it's getting each other through hard times or through heartbreak. I know what, that I will always have my person. As uh, Christina Yang says in Grey's Anatomy, if I murdered someone, she's the person I'd call to help me drag the corpse across the living room floor. She's my person. My world is a better place with you in it, but what is even better than you, my sister, is what you and John bring to the table as a couple. I thought I would never like any, any boy that you brought home because let's face it, you didn't always have the best taste. <laughs> but when I met John for the first time, I knew there was something different with him. He is kind, warm, and he puts light back in your eyes. And in the moment, I knew you found him forever. Letting you go and starting a new chapter without me is hard but I could have never picked any be anyone better than John to take care of you, baby sister. I love you both so much. 
to my brother-in-law. Another quote by Meredith Gray. If there is an upside to free falling, it's the chance you give your friends to catch you. From day one, John, we have always had each other's back. From just talking about life together while working together at Menards to you literally catching me when I passed out. We have built a great bond together and I will forever be grateful to have a friend and a brother like you. And finally, from Phoebe Buffet, see, she found her lobster. I wish you all the best. Cheers to the Truesdales.